It looks like AMD is making your CPU decisions nice and easy when it comes to gamers, and maybe more. The 9800X3D was announced today by AMD, and I have some information for you. Now, we all know that the Ryzen 7 9800X3D is going to have eight cores and 16 threads. So that's pretty decent for some multi-threaded tasks, but also gaming specifically that X3D portion. Now, the speed is kind of interesting. It's 5.2 gigahertz as its boost clock and 4.7 gigahertz as its base clock, which is 500 megahertz faster than the previous generation. Now, there are some major architectural changes with the 9800X3D versus the previous generation. Previous gen had some heat issues. That X3D that we all know and love for gaming was just plopped right on top, and that actually caused a bit of a heat bottleneck. So the cores, which, you know, those eight cores, 16 threads, they're generating a lot of heat, but they couldn't dissipate it because that 3D V-cache was sitting on top of it. And then the IHS, you know, the, the cooler solution, whatever you're using, custom water cooling, air cooling, would be on top of that. So it had a lot to go through. But now with the 9800X3D, that 3D V-cache is actually underneath those cores. So the cores are actually closer to the cooler and they've actually reduced some of the material that they've used to kind of glue everything together, long story short. So what does that mean to you? Well, for extreme overclockers, that means they can go to town. They can just start overclocking just like with the rest of Ryzen 9000, which is really nice and cool. Well, it could be hot, depending on your cooling techniques. But when it comes to the average gaming performance, this is gonna vary depending on your game. Now, AMD did come out with a list of charts showing like some gains to a lot of gains, but it really depends on what you enjoy, right? So always do your research. If you enjoy Star Citizen, hey, maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. If you enjoy Cyberpunk, maybe it is for you, maybe it's not. 1080p versus 4K, right? So there's a lot of different variables, but AMD is saying about 8% average gains over previous gen, but they are claiming an average of 20% gain over the new Intel Core Ultra 9 285K. So tell me what you think. I know I'm excited. I like overclocking and pushing things to the limits. These Ryzen 9000 CPUs have been quite interesting, great for productivity, and of course, they're perfectly fine for gaming. Yes, there's better options out there than these, X3D, but now the 9800X3D coming out, I think it's going to make things much easier for people to decide what CPU they actually want for their new system.